everyone, it's Daryl. Today I'm going to be looking at this 400 watt power inverter that we've had for quite a few years. And we keep this in the car so that we can, what it does is it, well, let me show you, find my cord. It plugs into your power port and on the other end it has two electrical outlets and it can power up to 400 watts of electrical appliances in your vehicle which is really kind of nice. Uh, I have a built-in one in my Mercury Mariner Hybrid, but it's only good for up to, I think, 120 watts. So this one here is a lot better, a lot stronger, it can do a lot more. But it has suddenly stopped working. So I was out there jiggling around and playing with it. I plugged it in and I actually got it to come on once when I plugged it in. It ran for about 10 seconds and stopped. But the fuse didn't blow. Uh, so, we got the trusty voltmeter out, and we started doing some tests, and I'm thinking the problems in either the cord or the plug end. So, these things are really handy though. I mean, you spend a lot of time in your car, take a lot of road trips, you know, you need something like this to keep your devices charged, and to, you can even hook a small power strip up to this, and charge four or five devices at once with it. So. I highly recommend having a power inverter if you're spending a lot of time on the road. I'm going to see if we can fix this together here, but first let me show you about one of my friends on YouTube. You know, my channel can be a little bit boring and dull and technical, but if you want someone more enthusiastic and upbeat, check out Super Enthused. Super Enthused does the best of Florida, she says. Travel, theme parks, special events, hidden gems, and more, and it's really good stuff. Uh, Central and South Florida for the most part, from Orlando to Miami to the Florida Keys, local history, cultural events, uh, special holiday and fairs and festivals, of course the theme parks in Orlando, and she's just so much fun to watch, very enthusiastic and upbeat, and I think you might really enjoy checking out her channel. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and have a look at this today. What we're going to do is we're going to set my voltmeter to the ohm scale and we're going to do continuity tests on both sides of the cord and when you have one of these cords that plugs into your power port one leg of the circuit is the point here and the other leg are these two bars on the sides and those carry the power negative and positive terminals to the red and black here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect both the red and the black wires and we're going to check for continuity between, there should be full continuity between the point here and one of these two wire ends, which I won't focus for some reason. But, uh, there we go, is that better? That's yeah, a little better. And then the other one, whichever one doesn't have continuity from the tip, we'll move the meter over and check continuity between the other wire and these side bars here. I'm going to guess one of these two parts of the circuit is not carrying a current. Alright, our test results show that there's no continuity between these side arms and the appropriate wire coming down here by my finger. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to check the fuse inside and check the wire connections inside to see if possibly one of the wires inside is pulled loose. Which is when yes. I took it apart, basically I unscrewed the cap here. You see where the cap unscrews, and then you grab the wire from the base and push it up through the housing, and it causes the entire center mechanism to be pushed outward. And we can see that this wire frame, that's actually your side pickups for your power point, at one point was soldered to this terminal here. So we have a broken circuit. In order to fix it, we're going to have to either get a new end for this cable, or solder it back on there with the soldering iron which I do have um, my soldering skills aren't that great but I may or may not give it a try we'll see but all right and here we go a week later I've got this nice brand new heavy duty power cord with ends on it and everything brand new plug in on it for $6.99 courtesy of eBay it arrived actually in about three days and it's perfect we just gotta loosen the thumb screws here and 
hook those up to the black and red terminals and we're good to go. No soldering, no worrying about if I did it right. And one of those instances where doing it yourself is probably not as good as going out and just spending your money and getting a new cord that you know is going to work. I highly recommend getting one of these power inverters if you spend a lot of time in your car doing road trips. Certainly if you're doing any camping or outdoor activities, it's a, really a must-have item. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.